Welcome back to the channel where the art is always random and so am I. Today's another sketchbook movie review. We are drawing James LeBron, LeBron James, and I'm reviewing Space Jam A New Legacy. Or I guess you should say Space Jam 2, whatever you want to call it. I should start off by saying I remember enough of Space Jam to say I loved the original movie as a kid, but it's probably been 8 to 12 years since I've actually watched the movie. The movie might or not might hold up, but I'll give it a watch in a few weeks and review it after, depending on wherever I could find it, if it's like on uh, Amazon Prime for renting or Amazon itself, I don't know, I'll go look for it. I do not hate LeBron James, I do think he's one of the greatest players of all time, but I just hate how he cries when he gets fouled and complains to the refs a lot, but he is nowhere near Michael Jordan the GOAT himself. So the movie starts off with a young LeBron James playing around middle school and is playing video games before a game. The coach gets mad at him because he basically decided to uh, play the games before and thought it was a big distraction and oh my god you could have won the game if you played better and not gotten distracted before the game. So. He tells him that you need to quit anything that would distract you from being the best player of all time that you can be or whatever. Flash forward a few years later, he has two sons. He is old. One is a gifted player and the other is a good player who is an aspiring video game developer. And basically the rest of the movie revolves around that. Algae, which is an algorithm with a mind of its own, ends up sending LeBron James into the video game his son made and has to play versus his son in order to escape the virtual space and save everyone else. And of course has to build a team and get the Toon Squad back and go from there. So now that the rest of the movie is here, let's give some spoilers out of the way. And trust me, you won't be missing much. So if you want to listen to them, do so. If not, leave. But like I said, it's like the movie itself is not even worth watching again. So go from there. So LeBron has to go look for a Toon Squad. Like I said, one is left in Toon World is Bugs Bunny because algae after saying oh you have to build a team he sends him to toon world with the rejects and the only one left is bugs bunny they end up stealing marvin the martian spaceship they go to other worlds like dc comics where uh superman and batman are there and daffy duck ends up being there so they recruit daffy duck they end up going to uh wonder woman's amazon island or whatever it is and they end up getting lola bunny they end up getting uh the short bald guy i think that goes to hunt wabbits i think that's him from uh bugs bunny world or whatever you want to call it and he ends up being in austin powers and so on you get the point they're all outside of the respected cartoon whatever looney tune era whatever you want to call it so he ends up gathering all the tunes pretty quickly in a montage which i guess was interesting but after a while it's kind of like okay I'm tired of the constant references to other movies being thrown in there. Okay, it's cool, but too much is too much, and it eventually wears off. At first, you're like, oh, it's really cool. I remember that. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, I remember that. But then it's just like, okay, enough. Just get to it. And then what ends up happening is the basketball game itself is too long. What you expect the movie to be like an hour and a half, you know, the last 20, 30 minutes to be the basketball game. No, it's like a two hour movie for no reason. It has way too many lines that aren't really that funny and a lot of time wasted in between to do some jokes that don't really work out. What ends up happening after is the last movie, the last hour of the movie is that the video game. And I'm just like constantly going back and forth like, oh, no, this is boring. I can't even remember half the stuff that happens in between the show because it's just like the movie just keeps doing basketball moves. But it's like enough is enough. I'm tired. But yeah, so the buildup is short as well. So it just goes in. He gets he gets sucked into the algorithm. The algorithm then tells him, oh, you have a day to go get the team. He gets the team and right away it starts. Right after it starts, the other team is completely destroying them so bad. But then in halftime, he goes into the locker room and says, hey, we need to uh, no more fundamentals. You know, because the whole movie, he was being strict, which I forgot to mention to the son, not letting him have fun. And that was kind of the running joke. Like, oh, you need to learn how to have fun. LeBron James is not about fundamentals. So he goes to tell the team, hey, you have to go have fun. And then from losing down by like a thousand something points, they end up catching up in like a few minutes. And I'm just like, where was the buildup? It's kind of like this review. It had no buildup. It just came to tell you the end of the movie, basically. And then the main villain shows up and it's kind of like that, where it's like the main villain shows up finally to play basketball, but he's not in there long enough for me to care. There is no real threat to the characters because I know the main character is going to win. But not at one point do I not believe they're going to catch up because, uh... It's a movie like even though they were down by so many points because it's a video game one point could be worth 50 another point could be 70 and so on it still made me believe that like they were gonna do what they did in the last movie where they just started doing tune things and catch up 
but that's really about it like i know this review doesn't make sense but neither does the movie so guess what we're even so yeah and the opponents are pretty bad too they get one shot it's kind of like in the new mortal kombat movie where the main bad guys are completely destroying the good guys then like all of a sudden they just become weak and they get like beat so easily there's just like how did this happen how did you go from destroying them to all of a sudden you can't even score one point which is kind of annoying and there was a guy that stops time that got beat so easily that i was like bro this could have been like one of the main bad guys to beat but no they, he got like one shot too so that kind of sucks the movie graphics are pretty cool i guess the special effects but when the tunes do get turned into like realistic versions of themselves i guess you could say the movie kind of loses its like fun factor i think they tried too hard on that they should have just kept them like a cartoon instead of trying to make it 3d which nowadays everybody tries to make it 3d which is never a good thing like the original one i think was more fun because it was more cartoony and then this one lost kind of its appeal because of that lebron james was also a pretty bad actor but he was bad but not horrible because he at least tried and you know he put effort into it he was very stiff he was like oh we have to have basketball we have family oh did somebody say family family you can't beat family or whatever the meme is but you get the point like he just kind of said everything so stiff but you could tell by when he was an actual cartoon he was putting in effort doing yells and going up and down on his voice to try to make it sound a bit different which i appreciate him for that he is a hard worker he always tries his best but unfortunately like the acting was a bit stiff but it wasn't horrible it was okay and overall the movie was pretty like much uh a 4 out of 10, 4.5 out of 10. If you insist on going to watch the movie, do so. But just remember that, that it's like, eh, it's kind of pretty much a waste of time at the end of the day. They should have made it like an hour and 20 minutes and it would have told the same story. But overall that, it's like a family redemption story where it's like, oh, basketball ain't about winning. It's about fun. Yay. Even though we all go for championships. But that's about it. Final review, 4.5 out of 10 on a good day. And that's about it. Hopefully you like the random rant. This was just out of the top of my head. And if you watched the movie, tell me what you thought about it. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm out.